Today I'm sharing four different outfits that include a wool coat. These are outfits that you could easily travel in, which I love the idea of that because generally speaking, when you are trying to just pack very little with you, maybe you're going on a plane, the one thing that never quite fits is your wool jacket, like something that's big, like a jacket or a coat. Yeah, that's just the idea. Maybe you're traveling, maybe you're taking a plane, a car, a train, and you just want to be really comfortable all day long and you don't want to have to store your big bulky coat. So these are outfits inspired for that idea and let's get started. For the first outfit, the first coat is from Petite Studio. I love the idea of having just a regular beige coat but this one has a lot of beautiful elements on it like the faux fur and the black lines running up and down it. But then underneath it I'm toning everything else way down. So I've just got a gray hoodie on along with some kind of dark wash jeans, something that's very subtle. So the jeans are more of a relaxed fit and then also the hood on the hoodie is very loose so it's kind of tight around the neck. I will say that, but the hood itself is incredibly cozy so you can just put it on and feel so good while you're traveling. For shoes, I'm wearing my all-weather Chelsea boots. These are from Nisolo and you can wear these with socks or whatever else. I just like to wear little ankle socks, but you can do what works well for the weather that you're traveling in. And then for the bag, I'm using something that matches the coat. So it kind of ties in that beige color a little bit better. And altogether, this is a very comfortable outfit to travel in and will work well while you're trying to wear a beautiful coat. A lot of you guys ask me for outfit ideas that are wearing sneakers, tennis shoes, whatever you want to call them, but I personally tend to shy away from them just because I'm petite, so it doesn't give me a lot of height, but I do love them. That's what I'm going into in my second outfit today. I am wearing them a little bit ironically by having some high white socks with them, and then I'd like to have my jeans rolled up a little bit. For the coat, I will link everything down down in the description below but what I really like about this coat is that it's very loose fitting so this is a, a re-wool Italian coat from Everlane and it's it's something that I feel is very stylish as well. I like a lot of the attention that went to the shape and to the pockets. The pockets are huge, by the way. I just went grocery shopping this morning in it and it was just so nice to carry a few things like my phone, my wallet, in my pockets. Pockets are an essential component to traveling, I also feel like. <laughs> As with any wool coat, you want to have this little stitch remover I can link you guys to, and that really helps to just open up those stitching that really keeps those pockets closed upon arrival, and you can open those up and that's how you get to the pockets. It's also good if you've got the flaps in the back, by the way, too. If there's the little X of thread that's not supposed to stay there, you're supposed to undo it. Underneath, I'm wearing an almond alpaca sweater, and the look of that plus the jeans is just so casual and so comfortable. It's one of my top most beloved softest sweaters so definitely check that out if you're on the hunt for that. But I like the look of having a lighter sweater underneath a very dark charcoal coat and I'm just layering with a black oversized scarf just to bring a little bit more of style on and it's something again you don't have to put in your bag to pack with you. If you're going somewhere really cold you can also wear a beanie or gloves or anything like that but this beanie is something that matches the coat very well and then also it's I'm just gonna have a black purse to go with the whole outfit. So I went darker on my accessories versus lighter but you could probably do either one. Upon first glance, this next outfit might not look that casual or comfortable, but it actually is. There's a lot of surprises here. It might not be the perfect outfit if you're running through an airport and walking several miles from one gate to the next in a hurry, <laughs> but it would be perfect for a car trip because one thing that always gets me, being that I'm five foot one, I have short legs, one thing that always hurts is my knees. So I end up wearing taller boots with a lot of my travel outfits. And why I like to do that is that it's just gonna elevate my legs a little bit and it's gonna be so much more comfortable on my knees. The pants that I'm wearing with these shoes, they're something that you guys have probably seen on this channel before. I just keep finding new ways to reinvent them with new outfits. What I like about them is that they feel like pajamas. So when I'm wearing them, it doesn't feel like I'm wearing formal pants. It feels like I'm wearing something just very soft, um, not clinging to me at all. It's not going to indent your skin at all or anything. It's just stretchy and something that it does breathe very well. It's very wide-legged and it goes from my waist all 
all the way down to my toes and it almost covers my boots. And the great thing about that is that I can wear a cropped sweatshirt on top. So that really helps with proportions. We talk a lot about that on this channel, but I like anything where I can wear something high-waisted and then have my shirt stop a bit sooner. This cropped sweatshirt is something that I have worn on repeat for a couple years now and it's comfortable, it's warm, it's not something that's going to breathe through the fabric too much, but it is, you know, cropped. So you will have maybe a little bit of air coming through there. So if you are going somewhere cold, it could be something that you layer maybe a thermal on underneath. I've done that with like the micro rib shirts are really good. And for the coat, I wanted to go with something that's a camel color. This is one of my favorite colors of all time. My neutral heart just bleeds <laughs> this <laughs> neutral tone. Okay, that's dramatic. So this is the same as that charcoal coat, but it's in camel. So that's how much I like this coat because it is something I wanted to get in a couple of colors. It's versatile, it fits anything underneath it, it just is beautiful, and again, with the wide pockets, it's just perfect. I am pairing it with a beanie that matches the coat again, and I wanna bring that black color out from my outfit into my bags. So I've got my regular purse that I wear every day, and then I also have my little weekender bag. This is the perfect carry-on if you're looking for something. Um, it doesn't have wheels or anything, but it is so nice to carry with you on like a car trip. This final outfit is all black except for the jeans. It's a very classic, sophisticated look, but yet it still is more on the athleisure side of things with the hoodie and the baseball cap. And so what I'm doing here is I'm layering this beautiful black wool coat on top of a hoodie. And that is one of my favorite looks of all time. It's something that I've just covered my Pinterest page in. I love the look of having that. And it's also something that's very practical. It's comfortable and I also like the way that if it's raining or whatever, if I just, if I just need a little bit more protection from the elements than just my baseball cap, I can throw the hood up and it's actually really cozy and I could totally take a nap like this. For the jeans, these ones are a little bit oversized on me because they're the curvy jeans uh, from Madewell and I really liked the wash that they were in and I liked having sort of a more relaxed fit of the jeans that wasn't something that was straight. I don't know, I just really like the look of them and I've been having a lot of fun pairing them with new outfits and also I'm wearing it with my high Cezanne boots. I really like the shininess that comes from the black crocodile print and then I'm also going to just pair it with my everyday bag. So yeah, one thing about wearing this outfit is that this coat is something that I have to be super careful with because I have a white fluffy cat. And so this would be something I would love, love, love to travel in. It doesn't necessarily work for my everyday life just because black wool plus a white fluffy cat just doesn't mix. <laughs> and that's it. So be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you liked it and tell me in the comments where you're heading off to next. I would love to hear about your upcoming travels and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.